In tonight's Health Edge, it is the dirty secret in 25% of Michigan hospitals and now a watchdog group is revealing the dirty truth about this. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy is here with us now and this is a shocking study, Doc. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a big problem. You know, the, the last place you'd expect to hear it, but this new report finds one in four Michigan hospitals aren't enforcing proper hand washing guidelines. So the survey was done by the Leapfrog, Leapfrog Group, a hospital watch uh, dog group. The key findings, urban hospitals continue to outperform rural hospitals by about 20 percent. But there's no reason for that. We all have access to soap and hot water, right? So you don't need to be a doctor to realize this is a serious issue. This puts everyone at risk, from patients to the healthcare workers. So hand washing is one of the easiest steps a hospital can take towards patient safety. The amongst the fully compliant hospital in Metro Detroit, Detroit Receiving Hospital, University of Michigan Hospitals, St. Joe of Mercy in Livingston, and others. To see how your hospital responded to the survey, head to our website, wxyz.com, Dr. Nanny, and we'll take you to a link there so you can find out. It's so awkward, though, when you see a doctor or even a nurse in your room and they haven't yeah. washed their hands. I mean, should we bring it up? Absolutely you got to tell them this is your health. The one thing is that you know you got to be advocate. You can't worry about anybody's feelings. You got to be nice about it, but if you see them not washing their hands, please ask them to. So this is doctors and nurses and Correct. people who are in direct contact with you. Yeah, people who draw blood, people oh. who are, you know, taking the blood pressure. So, you know what you can do is imagine if you take the blood pressure from every single place or you're drawing blood and you don't you don't wash your hands or do the proper precautions, you can spread it from one patient to another. Mm -hmm. So, but you asked an important question. People are embarrassed by it. Please ask your doctor or your healthcare worker, and don't be embarrassed because it's your health. If you get the infection, you're responsible for it, you know, and you have to fight it. So important, and this is a this is a really revealing study that we need to know about. Thanks so much, Dr. Nandy. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate you. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.